Tommy, don't play with matches. How did you even get those, sport? Give them to- Oh, shit! What do you want? This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you... Oh, uh, Tommy. Haha, <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, could you hand me that bucket of water? You fool! Not that bucket! That was my gasoline bucket! THAT BUCKET! Get that bucket of water, quick! Fuck you, little kids. Shh. <laughs> of course. Of course. You were too late. This is the second most tragic thing to happen in my life. What was the first? <laughs> Same. Same, bud. Boom. <laughs> hey, bitch, let's go. She's raping her. And I love that she's being held by two eels. Also, right? I'd also like to point out the How fact the that she is a fucking badass. Like <laughs> he Holy is a badass. shit. He's actually Poseidon. Yeah, I was about to say he's Poseidon. <laughs> He's, 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 trying, his father. he's yeah. trying to hook up with his <laughs> granddaughter. <laughs> Where? Oh, shit. I just wanted to kill one guy, and I can't even do that without getting an army on my ass. Like, what the fuck? Everyone has really nice butts here. Like, not even just the girls, the dude had a okay one too. I mean. Oh, look, we're back oh, really? <laughs> really? Yeah, he holds favorite. Motherfucker! <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. So close. And. Okay, here we go. Magic missile! Yo, bro, how's it going? <laughs> cast magic missile. There's nothing to cast magic missile on. What are you gonna cast magic missile on? I cast magic missile on the darkness. <laughs> I appreciate that way too much. I literally just spun in a circle there. Hey guys, what the hell? I told you to come here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bud. He took pity on you. If there's because an anomaly cheese, then uh, yeah, yeah, let's so fucking do it. You and them. That's what I mean. They still have to do it. Fuck, Fuck you. that one in particular. <laughs> oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olathe and what happened. Many tales. Right. Would you like to hear? It all started with what I like to call the Flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife. God rest her soul. Let's buy a bottle of Wait. sweet lemon tea. Maybe then transfer the contents it. into a glass. A glass. The great just drink it from the bottle. Fills I guess maybe since she's sitting on my porch drinking something sweet lemon tea wrong. from a glass, of course. Oh, then again, my when tea. making tea homemade so would be rocks just time. Yep. under my rocking chair. It was chair. my rocking chair. That sneaky bitch. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. What? I know it's my wife. God rest her soul. I decided to do this tall man. I had a work out. Oh, I been across the hall, my body oh, swelled oh, up with emotion. Not enough. Why well, can't I? She was more attractive. Be married to an attractive woman. She was a soft six. Him. Now my neighbor is a hard four. Tom Porter. What's the deal? I thought women liked Tom. Anyway, my wife, horse of a wife, God rest her soul, played crawled into bed yeah, next no. to me. One of those women. She decided to leave the bedside light on. Tom. Not to do it. Fix one of her romance novels. Aye, aye, aye. This point, I'd already suppressed. As if I don't. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. God damn you. I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. 
you really want to hear another story? I'll tell you. Once upon a hot summer night, sometime in July, was it July? Eggs that summer. My local grocery store marvelous. sells really good anyway, eggs. Anyway, my July. wife and I, God rest her soul, I don't know why. Barbecue that Chickens night. operate better. It was held at the Dale's Snow Tight Bitch. Well, I don't know. So this barbecue, I don't want to get off topic then. then. Point That's is, right. Connie Spooner doesn't want to a mash kind of fellow. <laughs> So I sat in a TV room with my boy Mark the barbecue. So Tom, once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato bitch wife. They brought a fruit salad. I just don't want needs to stay. And with whipped cream, I would associate with someone that were a salad about son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. That was amazing. But at the same time, I don't ever want to deal with that again. Oh, God damn it! Well, hello again. <laughs> Funny seeing you here. What are you, following me or something? Ho <laughs> ho. Anyways. I often wonder what all happened here. What was that big flash? Why are we here? Oh, well. Sometimes enough days, of that boring last stuff. Ages. Nights come I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. Resist. So strange. I'd recently heard I was in the waiting room reading a teen her. magazine. Ulysses utensils. I guess he cares about normally I don't in indulge in adolescent complications. Either way, so I'm reading this magazine because I saw Ulysses body body cover. my attention. Sometimes I wish my, my wife was like that. Water. I still wasn't able Suddenly to identify if it was a man or woman. Big old the child was glaring directly at me. But as I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I, the devil looking right back at me I look up eyes. to see that just there's then, a drop of water falls right from the ceiling. You'd think a doctor would make enough money my to maintain his own office. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're a bit of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many a tale to tell. <laughs> no!